Hey, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a powerful tank build, which is going to heal you up as you are in combat. You are going to be dealing massive damage. Not only this, the gameplay towards the end, which I show in every build video, is going to be on very hard difficulty. What I absolutely love about this build is that it allows you to use either a shotgun or an LMG. You can even use an assault rifle or an SMG if you choose to, and we will get into that later on. As for now, where you need to head to is Silk Road. There will be a suspected organized crime activity a few blocks away from this spawn point. We are going to travel from Silk Road up just a few, and then we are going to locate a group of enemies that you have to take out in order to pick up the Sovereign Shotgun. In my opinion, this is one of the best shotguns in the game, allowing you to successfully shoot and reload fast, as well as if you have those additional perks that I will be going over later on. Now, once you have taken out the last fella in this room right here, he should drop the crafting spec Sovereign, as well as a few other items. What we can do now is then head over towards the second location, which involves another shotgun. I'm going to give you guys a few options in what you would probably want to use, because I feel like that's what's great about a build, so that you can have multiple options depending on what type of player you are. For myself, I prefer the Sovereign, yet if you want to lean more towards the smart direction, you can pick up one of these smart weapons located right here in the secret room, I guess you could say, for Adam Smasher. You're allowed to go there towards the end of the game, so I will not ruin anything towards the actual, you know, end game, so nothing will be ruined there. As for the next spot, we are going to head towards Arasaka Tower and pick up a specific shotgun over here from the Edge Runner anime. I, again, will not ruin anything. I think I may have done something like that in the past in one small clip. It was small, but anywho, when you go up here, there will be Rebecca's shotgun towards the left side in one of these bushes. You can pick it up, and then you can move on forward towards the next location. Now, forgive me for this. I do not recall which one it is. I believe it's the second bush to left, yet as you do get closer, it will reveal the orange or uh, legendary icon, so you know exactly where to go. Well, now that we have the three shotguns, we can then move on towards Cyberware. There is a Ripper Dock located right here over at Skyline and Republic. This is one of the best Ripper Docks over here that you can go to, and you can pick up either the Sandy, which I know a lot of people did not like the way I was pronouncing, uh, how I was pronouncing it, yet it's different from the Japanese and the English, and anywho. Or you can pick up the Berserk. I personally love to use the Sandy, which is right here. This is the best one, in my opinion, that you can use for this build because it does require a low amount of reflex. What we can do now is either pick that up, or if you want to head over to here, you can pick up Berserk. It's, again, all up to you on your preference. I'm going to pick up the Sandy, and I'll stick with that. As for the rest of the sideware, stay at this Ripper Docks menu. We are going to head towards the left side there. Since, of course, we have already picked out our operating system, we can then pick out something for our circulatory system. There is bioplastic blood vessels and then blood pump. Blood pump will instantly restore 70% of your max health, which is really helpful in sticky situations, especially if you are playing on a very hard difficulty. We can pick up nano relays to increase our one second duration for our sandy and we are going to then pick up this item which i have no idea how to pronounce that so i'm not going to even say it now whatever you want to add towards your cyberware is up to you i have just chose to add the substantial armor to increase some armor by 150 if you have something better throw it on now as for the right side pick up again whatever you want for the skeleton system the arms definitely doesn't matter. And then if you're going to go towards the hands, if you want to use Smart Link for that shotgun, you definitely can. Specifically, the Smart Shotgun that you can pick up from Adam Smasher's secret little location there. Uh, now let's move on towards the attributes. We are going to add 20 of our points towards body and go towards the first tab, which is athletics. And then let's go towards the perk Invincible to increase our max health by 15%.
the rock to stop enemies from knocking us down. We will pick up Steel Shell to increase our armor by 10%, Indestructible to stop incoming damage by 10%, Tenacious V so that our health is not interrupted when we are regenerating. Both Wolverine and Regeneration will help towards health regen. Transporter is of course going to allow us to pick up bodies and use our pistol. Cardio Cure is going to allow us to regenerate our health 25% faster. Marathoner, as we are sprinting, we do not lose any stamina. The last two perks here are going to help towards health regeneration. This one specifically is going to increase your health regen threshold from 70 to 75% in combat if you do max it out. We are on the second tab, pick up Speed Demon. This means we will deal more damage the faster that we are moving. Momentum Shift is going to increase our speed once we have defeated an enemy with a shotgun. Dead Center is increasing the damage. Blood Rush also increases damage. Bulldozer does as well with crit damage. A lot of this right here is just based on damage, really. There's nothing too much to explain there. Street Brawler, we'll leave it as it is. Towards Technical Ability, add 8 of your points here and then go towards the second tap, towards Engineering. Pick up Blast Shielding so that you can reduce your damage taken from explosions by 30%. The two perks here are completely optional. If you would like to add them elsewhere, definitely do so. Moving towards the cool attribute. Add 10 of your points here, and then we are sort of going to be going around in a circle here with the perks. Pick up Leg Up to increase movement speed after a successful takedown. Sniper to increase headshot damage outside of combat. Crouching Tiger to increase movement speed while sneaking. Strike from the Shadows to increase your crit damage by 7%. I suppose Dagger Dealer is optional. Assassin, deal 15% more damage towards humans. And then we have the Takedown perk. Go towards the Cold Blood tab. We are going to pick up Cold Blood perk. The Will to Survive to increase resistance. Rapid Blood Flow to increase health regeneration. Defensive Clotting to increase armor. And then Easy Out for damage. And as for Reflexes, this is where it becomes the optional part. If you add 11 to 15 or whichever it is to use the Sandy, you can definitely do so and you can use whatever perks you have here to add it towards your assault or your handgun so you can use multiple things. You do not have to just use a shotgun or LMG. Last but not least, intelligence. Leave it as it is. There's really no point. We are not using any cyberware to do any quick hacking and whatnot so it's all good on that part. Just go through, use your sovereign which is the shotgun that I highly recommend. It one shots enemies. And then when you're using your Sandy, you can then just go in and take them all out like so. If you are new to the channel or you've checked out my videos in the past, definitely feel free to subscribe. It helps out, supports the channel, and I'm able to continue to show you guys some really cool stuff. Other than that, I appreciate everyone that is subscribed and is a member. I appreciate all that love and support, and it really does mean a lot to me. I genuinely mean that, and thank you guys. So I'll leave you guys with that, and I'll see you all on the next video.